it takes just a matter of time before an adventure turns into a misadventure. One has to be extremely cautious and aware of all the risks while embarking on an adventurous trip. But encountering dangerous is what makes people adventurous. With this in mind, the popular Norley aka Itchy Boots has bravely taken up expeditions on her bike to places that posed in front of her difficult terrains, unsuitable paths, and challenging weather conditions. In this video, we're gonna mention such dangerous roads where she rode her bike. First up is her trip from Kalaikum to Korog in Tajikistan. It is a 240km muddy path with steep cliffs and thousands of potholes alongside the Afghanistan border. Despite the bumpy drive, she was comfortably able to make her destination. Next was her road trip in Manipur, where she was trying to reach the capital city, Imphal. She described the condition of the roads as extremely poor, they were full of mud and the weather conditions too unfavorable. The visibility too was quite low, but if you've got your sights set on the destination, there isn't anything that's gonna stop you. But what if your bike got tripped over? That's both scary, dangerous, and life-threatening to an extent determined by the degree of fall. So this happened with Itchy Boots while she was in Zimbabwe riding from Muter Eastern Island to Chimanimani Mountains. The path was too muddy and visibility was quite low, but she did not suffer any major injury in the fall as she was going slow. Climatic conditions and rough terrain are common problems that any solo rider or traveler might be subjected to, but what would one do if surrounded by an armed cartel? Recently, Norley encountered a similar situation while on her Mexico trip. She was in Chihuahua, which is considered to be the most dangerous state in Mexico. So she had to go from Creel to Urique, and the only paths that could lead her there were dominated by Sinaloa and Juarez cartels. The areas in which she rode were under the authority of the dangerous cartels who were into drug farming. She could be seen reading out some news pieces in her videos that were incidents where members of these cartels had caused hindrances to travelers. For the sake of her own safety, she contacted one of the cartel members via a local. In fact, she says it's the locals who gave her the advice. For a brief amount of time, she was even escorted by the police to a certain point because there had been alarming cases of robbery in the region and since she was a tourist, the police felt it their duty to help her out. The crux of it was that she has carried out all of her voyages by herself and has managed to escape unscathed from harm or dangers. Despite being aware of the dangers, the guts she exudes are what really inspires viewers and makes them keep coming back to her channel and witness more of her solo travel diaries. So that was it people, thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more about such inspiring people. See you soon.